I remember the days of being so nervous about rocking blonde hair against my cocoa complexion. Those days are over. This brown girl is absolutely in love. Today I teamed up with Yolisa Hair to bring you this beautiful natural lace wig install. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So here I am showing you the construction of the cap. Construction of the cap is extremely important in knowing if this is a wig you want to commit to. This one here is a P4613 body wave highlight wig this one is a body wave texture it's a five by five lace wig and i have her in a 22 inches in length here i am just going ahead and applying the wig it did come with an adjustable elastic band so that was how i got a little bit more security and support on this wig now i'm going to go ahead and stab out a center part and make sure that the hairline is very 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 much giving melted scalp i do this by doing my own little combo which is a dynamic duo for me this is the wax stick paired with a very very hot electric hot comb i like to have mine on a 500 degree setting which i would like to disclaim is very 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 hot i recommend that you do this step on a mannequin head before you put the wig on that way you don't have to worry about getting burnt but if you don't mind a little bit of heat, just like I do, you can see I definitely get an amazing result, an amazing transformation in just this step. Next step for me today is going to be to go ahead and remove the excess lace. Now for this step, the eyebrow razor, which you can get at your local beauty supply store. You can get them at Target or Walmart. And these work to give you like a jagged cut against your lace. The lace has to be jagged to give a little bit more of a camo style look. Even if you're using scissors, I kind of like to go in and kind of do a messy cut maybe in like a zigzag or like a swoopy motion. And that definitely helps to get that camouflage look so that the lace is not too blunt across your skin. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and do a glueless install. Today is not gonna be completely glueless. We're gonna use an extra hold hairspray and the stickiness from your hairspray is going to act as a bonding agent temporarily to bond your wigs down. Once I applied that product, I added the melt belt on top and I'm going to allow that to air dry until it's completely dry or you can use a blow dryer, preferably on a cool setting to finish it along. From there, I'm going to go ahead and tint the lace in the parting. And as you guys see, I did use a cream foundation palette to get the custom color that I received. And now we're going to go ahead and proceed to curl the hair. So as I mentioned, this one did come in a body wave texture. And although it's really nice, I figured we could turn it up a notch. I think this one looks beautiful in a bone straight Um option which definitely you can get it in a bone straight option on the site i opted for the body wave because i feel like when you get your hair already body wave it helps for the hair to hold a curl when you're doing like your heated curls i'm using the hot tools curling iron and this is i think one of the largest barrels they offer at our, my local beauty supply store not quite sure if this is a one and a half or a two inch but i'll have the dimensions and a link in the description box if you're interested a big barrel sometimes means really big curls but you just make sure that you don't use too much hair so that you can really get a good hold on your curls also add a heat protectant this is definitely going to help to preserve the longevity as well as the texture of your hair when it comes to your next wash day and as you guys can see i'm just taking my time to get the right curls that are going to work for me i'm doing the right side i believe first my right side but it may appear as your left side and i'm just watching tv and just taking my time again as much of the process you can do off your head i highly recommend investing in a really good wig head with the tripod to match that way you can do things like you can cut the lace you can curl the hair you can do your dynamic duo step you can do a lot of these steps even tinting the lace while the wig is off your head so that once you apply you just have to really just bond it down if you choose to bond it down and then maybe just brush out the style that you know you achieved so we did the side on camera and i'm going to use the pantene flexible hold hairspray i think this is a level three hairspray and then i did the curls on the opposite side off camera being sure to spray those down as well now that the hairline has had time to dry you can see how natural it looks it's definitely giving big forehead so i am going to add a little bit of baby hair you guys know a big girl big forehead girls sometimes are a little bit self-conscious but you guys already know the rumors about the big forehead girls so not even mad at it 
Here I am just combing out the curls and just seeing what I need to touch up. You guys know I'm no pro when it comes to this, but I am committed to getting better and just perfecting all of my hairstyles. I'll never be an arrogant Tay per se, but I definitely I think I can get close and, you know, get to a point that I really, really feel confident in my specific hairstyles, including updos, curls, you know, the whole nine. Here I'm using that same curling iron to just really press out or flatten out the wig. You guys can see this one fits super, super, super flat. So it's going to be a very, very flawless and natural install, which is great because this is a blonde wig. And blonde already just gives a natural for my complexion. Um, so having it be natural and not too va va boom kind of helps to tone it down in its own way. But you guys know I'm here for the va va boom too. I can do both. Now I'm going to go ahead and do those baby hairs that I spoke of. I like to do two where it's like in the center, it gives very much forehead and natural. And then on the sides, I do like the swoops right above the arches of each eyebrow. And then from there, you guys can see it still gives natural. It just pulls the forehead together and gives a little camel for the forehead. And this is the final look. I did go in and trim out... Um, the what did I do I added the bangs in the front I don't know if I showed that in this video but I did add the bangs in the front and here I am showing you guys the goodies that came in my package including HD wig caps an edge brush eyelashes this melt belt that says Yolisa hair on top as well as this hair band that can go around the entire head to kind of lay it down and it's good for bedtime they also gave me this dust bag which does have all of their social media handles on the back so now we are done with this look I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and took something away from it be sure to check out Yolisa hair there's a direct link to this week in the description box thank you guys so much for watching and as always I'll see you in the next one smooches